You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa al-Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the President of Mexico, Andres Manuel López Obrador. His Majesty expressed sincere condolences to the victims of the explosion of one of the oil pipelines that resulted in several fatalities and injuries. He also wished the souls of the victims to rest in peace and wished the injured a speedy recovery. Wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, received at the Council's headquarters President of the Interparliamentary Union, Gabriela Cuevas Baron, and the accompanying delegation. Her Royal Highness welcomed her guest and affirmed the SEW's keenness to bolster joint cooperation with IPU in order to shed light on Bahraini women's achievements internationally due to the elevated status of the union globally and the task it carries out in measuring women's progress in the political scene. In this regard, Her Royal Highness noted the IPU's participation in the conference held by the SEW in November, which focused on the role of women's political participation in achieving development justice. She also reiterated the Kingdom's pride in the achievements made by Bahraini women in the political field, according to a number of indicators such as the high rate of participation in voting that reached 67 percent and the high participation rate of women as candidates reaching 47 women and the presidency of the woman over the representative council in an unprecedented achievement at the national level, along with the appointment of nine women in the Shura Council and five women in the capital municipality. Her Royal Highness underscored the encouraging Bahraini women's political participation is a priority in the National Plan for Bahraini Women Advancement that was adopted by His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa in 2005 as the first plan of its kind in the region to be adopted by the head of state. The meeting also included a brief visual presentation that highlighted the role of the SEW and the achievements made by Bahraini women since the launch of the National Reform Project led by His Majesty the King. For her part, the IPU president expressed the union's admiration and the Bahraini experience of boosting women's role in the political field, affirming the importance of the plans, programs and initiatives executed by the SCW under the leadership of Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa. Baron expressed the IPU's readiness to strengthen its cooperation in order to highlight the achievements of Bahraini women in the political field. The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, and Honorary President of Brief, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa for attending the championship of the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, and affirmed that His Majesty's presence is a great support to horse riders in the Bahraini endurance race. His Highness also expressed the appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalid for his participation in the third edition of the race and said that his participation is a great support to the riders hailing his achievements on the local and international levels. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the high level of the race which witnessed a large participation and hailed the positive results achieved by the participants. His Highness congratulated the winners hailing the efforts of the organizing committee and their role in ensuring the success of the event. His Highness Sheikh Khalid praised the support of His Majesty the King and the constant follow-up of His Highness Sheikh Nasser and President of Brief His Highness Sheikh Faisal Bin Rashid Al Khalifa. His Highness congratulated the winners and praised the high level of performance and wished them all success in the coming races. His Highness Sheikh Faisal expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for attending the race and congratulated His Highness Sheikh Nasser for the success of the event. He affirmed that the race witnessed a strong competition and expressed appreciation to the participants and the organizing committee. His Highness Sheikh Nasser and His Highness Sheikh Khalid, in the presence of His Highness Sheikh Faisal, then crowned the winners Cecilia Garcia from the victorious team. Haya Jamal from the Khaldia stable and Ma'youf Al-Rumehi from the Zaim stable as first, second and third places respectively. Hamid al khatir and Abdullah Janahi and from Asayal stable and Amal Khalaf from Al-Fatih stable were also crowned.
The Deputy Premier, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak Al Khalifa, received today in the presence of the Speaker of the Council of Representatives, of Fawzia bint Abdullah Zainal, the President of the Interparliamentary Union, Gabriella Barron, who is currently on a visit to the Kingdom. The Deputy Premier welcomed the guests and asserted that her visit to Bahrain is within the framework of coordination and cooperation among parliaments, as well as of her appreciation for the Kingdom's progressing democratic process under the reform project of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Gabriella Barron expressed pleasure at visiting the Kingdom being received by His Majesty the King and meeting with the Speaker and senior officials. She hailed Bahrain's democratic experience, praising the positive outcomes of the recent elections, which affirmed the awareness of the Bahraini people and the citizens' keenness to contribute to their country's progress in various fields. The President of the National Guard, His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, received Pakistan's Chief of Naval Staff, Admiral Zafar Mahmoud Abbasi, and his accompanying delegation in the presence of National Guard Staff Director General Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Saud Al Khalifa and Ambassador of Pakistan to Bahrain, Afzal Mahmoud. His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed praised the close friendship and cooperation in various fields and commended the high readiness and proficiency of the Pakistani Navy as part of the Pakistani defense systems. The two sides discussed topics of shared interests within the bilateral cooperation and exchange of expertise between the National Guard and the Pakistani Navy. They also exchanged commemorative gifts on this occasion. Under the chairmanship of the Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh Has Saleh, the Council approved today during the sixth meeting of the first session of the fifth legislative term the referral of the Royal Speech Reply to the reply of the Royal Speech Committee headed by the Shura Council's first Deputy Chairperson to make amendments based on the Council's suggestions. The Council reviewed the reports of the Public Utilities and Environment Committee on draft laws on amending the real estate lease law promulgated by Law 27 of 2014 and approved it according to the amendments made by the Committee. The residents of Galali Mahara Governor threw a festival in the celebration of the well-being of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, in the presence of the Chairman of the Bahrain Basketball Association, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, expressing wishes of health for His Royal Highness. Present were the Governor of Mahara, Salman bin Isa Al Manai, members of the Representative Council, and a number of Galali residents. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali conveyed the greetings and thanks of His Royal Highness for their prayers, which represent the strong connection between the people and their leaders. For his part, the Mahara Governor Salman bin Isa al-Mana'i expressed pleasure on the occasion of the good health of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, affirming that the celebrations are a simple expression of the love that the citizens express for His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. For his part, the Representative Khalifa Bu'anq expressed pleasure in the good health of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, asserting the pleasure of all citizens, especially those in Galali, with the news. Representative Ibrahim bin Khalid al Nafai expressed appreciation for all the national celebrations the citizens organized, in which they expressed their loyalty to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister following his recovery. 
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Expatriates of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, Ayman Al Safadi, on the sidelines of his participation at the Arab Economic and Social Development Summit held in Beirut in Lebanon. The minister hailed the close brotherly relations between Bahrain and Jordan, affirming the keenness of the kingdom to further develop bilateral cooperation in all fields to achieve the common interests of both kingdoms and their people. For his part, the Jordanian minister praised the close ties linking the two kingdoms, wishing Bahrain for the progress and prosperity. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met the Lebanese Foreign Minister and immigrants Gibran Basil on the sidelines of Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed's participation in the Arab Economic and Social Development Summit held in Beirut, Lebanon. Minister of Foreign Affairs highlighted the organization of the summit, expressing the kingdom's pride in the brotherly relations with Lebanon, its keenness on its security and stability, and on bolstering bilateral cooperation to achieve the two countries' interests and continue coordination in all affairs. For his part, Gibran Basil expressed appreciation for the kingdom's brotherly stances towards Lebanon and its aspirations to strengthen relations between the two countries, wishing Bahrain further advancement and prosperity. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, arrived to Lebanon to participate in the Fourth Arab Summit for Economic and Social Development that will be held in Beirut. The Prime Minister of Lebanon, Saad Al Hariri, was at the forefront to receive the minister, and the minister conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to Lebanon's President, and their wishes for progress and prosperity to the country and its people. The minister wished the summit success and expressed aspiration that the summit will enhance joint Arab action. Al-Hariri expressed appreciation for the greetings of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and wished the Kingdom of Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Foreign Affairs received an official reception followed by both countries' anthems. The Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Engineer Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, hailed the on scheduled progress of construction work at Bahrain International Airport's new fuel farm complex during an inspection visit to the site and stressed the importance of finishing the complex by the third quarter of this year. They also noted the milestone achievement of 1 million man hours without lost time accidents. The Minister of Oil praised the National Oil and Gas Authority's vision to support pioneering projects aimed at achieving a number of tangible and qualitative goals, including improving efficiency and the expansion of aviation fuel operations and services. The Minister of Transportation affirmed that the fuel farm complex is an important component of plans to restructure the aviation sector in the kingdom and will play a key role in streamlining the aviation fuel supply operation and maintenance process at the airport. Under the patronage of the Governor of the Southern Government, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa, a press conference was held to discuss the upcoming Japanese Village Expo. The conference was headed by the Director of Social and Community Affairs and the Southern Government, Fatma Al Ghatem, and the President of the Bahrain Japan Business and Friendship Society, Nasser Al Arai. Of more in this report with Shogun Mohammed. For the first time in the Kingdom of Bahrain and under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa, the Southern Governorate, in cooperation with the Bahrain Japan Business and Friendship Society, are organizing the Japanese Village Expo to celebrate the Japanese culture. The Expo aims to be an educational and entertaining experience for all visitors, bringing together all aspects of the Japanese way of life, ranging from traditional food and music to clothes and games. Actually, uh, the societies is uh, participating uh, with the government in trying to promote the culture and the education and to know more about Japan and it's a good opportunity for all Bahrainis to come and look at how the Japanese culture is done and you know there'll be a lot of activities and we hope that everybody gets benefit from actually coming to this expo. So we're very excited and we thank His, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali for uh, giving us the opportunity to participate uh, in this uh, first Expo, which is unique for Bahrain. It's open to everybody and we will welcome all our neighbors to come and actually to this expo and enjoy the culture of Japan. The Southern Governorate is a melting pot of cultures and for this reason the location is perfect to welcome people from all over the region to take part in this first of its kind event, which will also give opportunities to Bahraini business owners to share their concepts and products. The Southern Governorate as being the best and um, foremost destination for investment in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Uh, we are proud 
to host such a, um, a unique event that touches upon international relations and uh, it opens up doors to further uh, international relations uh, from uh, many perspectives, be it culturally, be it investment, or be it any other category. Guests of honor from Japan will be coming to the Kingdom of Bahrain to attend the event, as well as traditional Japanese musicians. The event is open to all and free of charge, and will run for an entire weekend. Being held in the Kingdom of Bahrain for the first time, the Japanese village will begin on the 7th of February and continue until the 9th at the Bahrain International Circuit. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shogh Mohammed.